So I've been working through starting issues on the 6.9, which began with the transmission shifter bushings, then the starter solenoid, and then finally I thought I'm done until I realized the key would occasionally bind up. And you can see here, it sort of doesn't want to go. You jiggle it a little bit and it happens. If you leave it like this, it will ultimately not turn the key over and get stuck and then you're in a world of hurt. Set the key into ignition position one and then you can gently feel where a small Allen key will slot into the area and depress the locking mechanism. This then enables you to counterclockwise rotate the protective surround on the ignition barrel, which is an anti-theft device. I couldn't do it with my hand, so I've taped it up so it didn't get scratched, and then got some vice grips, trying not to scratch the bell walnut of a 6.9. And after many spins, this releases not only the protective anti-theft device, but also the barrel with it. Then you will see inside the ignition switch, and if you were to chuck a screwdriver in there, you can turn the thing with a flathead screwdriver and the car will start. So the ignition barrels are no longer available, and this is a problem. You can see the key sticking through here. The Allen key is still in it. And once I take the Allen key out, I can turn the key back to position zero, remove the key, and the barrel will fall out of the anti-theft device. Now this is an ignition, an, sorry, an original ignition barrel, and you can't buy these anymore, so I've got a spare one around. Now you can see it's got the Benz logo on it, the original part, and on the other side you can see the numbers for the key, um, which you would give to Benz formally. Now this is what I think is a late versus early key design. The early is being the long narrow one, and the later being my square one there. You can't get these anymore. Now, they're the same dimensions, and you can order one, two, three Febby barrels, and this is what I'm going to try. So here's the spare part that I had, that is the anti-theft device, and there is the locking mechanism. So when you switch it around roughly to ignition one, you can see how the slot lines up, and putting the Allen bolt in there, you can see how it depresses, and that's why you can then unspin the anti-theft device, and it can come out. You can see how when this is removed, it locks itself in there, and also locks on the protective device. So you can see the threaded area, as well as the channel that would ultimately go over that piece when you put it back in. Now, once again, you can sort of get a braille-like feel for this, um, even if you're not perfectly lined up. So if you roughly spin it, you'll feel where the thing starts to go and then push it in. The Allen keys, if you have one with a sort of ball-like end on it, they can be annoying because they get stuck in there. Just rotate it out as you pull it out. And you can see how there's a channel in the ignition switch, which lines up with a groove on the ignition barrel. So it only goes in one way and it does line up. So as it goes back in there, you can see it's still depressed. And if I gently rotate this Allen key, it'll click back out and lock it in. And when you put these back in, uh, you have to have the barrel inside the anti-theft device, put it back in as one thing and start spinning it in. Now this is a 126 ignition barrel, which I think goes for the same for the 123s. I've unlocked it in ignition one and I just unwind it. And you can see it's pretty much the same thing. Um, I couldn't notice actually any significant difference but the anti-theft devices, I think, differ on different models. So it just comes out. Sorry, doing this with one hand on the barrel while on the camera is not ideal. 